10, 9, nine eight, start. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Liftoff of the mighty Delta IV heavy rocket with NASA's Parker Solar Probe, a daring mission to shed light on the mysteries of our closest star, the Sun. A Parker Solar Probe launch live pictures as mission to Sun has lift off. A historic NASA mission to the Sun has blasted off into space. The Parker Solar Probe, NASA's first mission to the Sun, will explore the Sun's atmosphere and its outermost atmosphere, the Corona. A Delta IV heavy rocket carrying the probe took off from Cape Canaveral, Florida at around 07.31 GMT on Sunday morning. It will be the fastest man-made moving object in history and NASA hope it will come within 3.83 million miles of the Sun's surface, making 24 loops of the star over seven years. It follows an aborted mission 24 hours earlier from NASA's U.S. headquarters. During its historic journey, the probe will jet past Venus at speeds of 430,000 miles per hour, the equivalent of flying from New York to Tokyo in one minute. The probe, which is only the size of a car, will come into contact with Venus gravity after six weeks, which will help slow it down. The mission helps to uncover the Sun's mysteries. The spacecraft is named after 91-year-old solar physicist Eugene Parker, 91, who was the first scientist to describe solar wind in 1958. Mr. Parker watched Sunday's historic mission blast off live. He said, Wow, here we go. We're in for some learning over the next several years. Dr. Nikki Fox, the British-born project scientist affiliated to the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory, explained to the BBC just how close the probe would get to the sun. Dr. Fox said, imagine the sun and the earth were a meter apart. Parker Solar Probe would be just four centimeters away from the sun. The front of the probe will encounter temperatures of 1,300 C as it powers its way towards the sun's boiling surface. It is expected to reach its target destination six weeks after passing Venus. During Saturday's aborted attempt, NASA was forced to cancel its launch with less than two menus to go due to technical faults, with the space agency missing a vital 65-minute weather window.